I am Jack Moline, M-O-L-I-N-E, President of Interfaith Alliance for Protecting Faith and Freedom. It was about 25 years ago when the brand new Jewish Community Center in Annandale opened for the first time. And it wasn't more than a couple of days until, of course, it was defaced. I don't need to repeat what kinds of things were drawn and scrawled on the walls of that brand new building. It didn't take more than 24 hours for the community to come together and stand together in affirmation of the presence of the Jewish community and in disapproval of what had been done in the names of some few who hate. I remember gathering in the brand new gymnasium when the call came in that a bomb threat had been issued and we were all evacuated into the parking lot. It was a memorable night for a lot of reasons, but I remember two things in particular. The first is that a pastor from the area stood up and said into the megaphone to the gathered crowd, you know, sometimes there's a lot of debate as to where the center of the town of Annandale is. Is it on this road? Is it on that road? Is it this shopping center or that municipal center? He said, I can tell you for sure one thing tonight. The center of Annandale is right where we're standing right now. The other thing I remember from that night was on the way home, hearing from my five-year-old daughter who had come to show her solidarity with her friends and classmates and had been evacuated when that bomb threat came in. As I traveled 55 miles an hour on the Beltway, my daughter burst into tears in the back seat and she said, why would anyone want to hurt us? 25 years later, I can still feel the fury that welled up inside of me, that my daughter's innocence was stolen by cowards with a can of spray paint. Still, what could I do in those circumstances? Just raise my children with love and assure them that I would do my best to protect them. So here we are today, my friends, just after the election, and I ask the question, where is the center of America? Is it the geographic center that is somewhere in the heartland thousands of miles from here? Is it on the mall, not so far from here, the center of our political union? Right now, I will tell you, the center of America is right here where we are standing in front of Masjid Muhammad. I am proud to stand with this group of Americans, with my friends, my brothers, my sisters, my colleagues, and declare for myself what I hope every American will declare in these circumstances. I'm a Muslim. I am a Muslim. We must promise that no one will ever make another American afraid. Not the bigots, not the alt-right, not the chief strategist of the next administration, not the President of the United States. No one will make the precious children of this community, of any community, afraid. Tell your children what the Prophet Micah said. None shall make them afraid. You want to know what happened to my little girl? 25 years later, she works for the Federal Emergency Management Administration. She spends her life making sure that those people who have been damaged, who have been put out, who have had their lives compromised by disasters will be taken care of by the government of the United States and the neighborhoods in which they live. I'm proud of her because she learned from that moment and I'm encouraged that others will learn as well. So she inspires me to say today, if there is a registry for Muslims in the United States, I will be the first in line to say, I'm a Muslim. I am a Muslim. If there is a registry for Muslim immigrants to the United States, I will be first in line to say, I am an immigrant, the I'm a Muslim. I am a Muslim. If there is a registry for people fleeing from places where their lives are at risk 
in Syria, in Iraq, in Turkey, in anywhere where violence threatens, I will be the first in line to say, I am a refugee and I'm a Muslim. I am a Muslim. All of these, my sisters and brothers behind me, will be in that line along with me. And none shall make us afraid.